हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी विल स्टडी अबाउट द कोऑर्डिनेशन इन एनिमल्स द कोऑर्डिनेशन इन एनिमल्स अकर्स विद द हेल्प ऑफ नर्वस सिस्टम एंड एंडोक्राइन सिस्टम दीज सिस्टम्स हेल्प टू कम्युनिकेट एंड कोऑर्डिनेट द फंक्शंस ऑफ वेरियस ऑर्गन्स एंड ऑर्गन सिस्टम्स इन द बॉडी फॉर द लोअर एनिमल्स or the lower organisms there is no need for a proper nervous system why because their body organization is very simple so these organisms have a net of nerve cells or you can say nerve fibers that help in the conduction of impulses from one part of the body to another part of the body but in case of the vertebrates or the higher organisms higher organisms means complex organisms there is a requirement of a nervous system which will carry mainly the electrical impulses and an endocrine system which will carry mainly the chemical messengers in their body so that control and coordination can take place why because their body organization is very complex and it is hard for the nerves alone to reach all the parts of the body now before studying about the nervous system in the vertebrates we need to study about how the higher organisms receive external information see the higher organisms receive external information in the form of stimuli now we have studied about stimuli earlier also stimuli is any change in the environment to which an organism responds or reacts now these stimuli are collected through specialized structures called the receptors which are generally present in all the sense organs in our body some of these receptors are the photoreceptors which are sensitive to light that means they will collect the light as a stimuli phonoreceptors which are sensitive to sound gustatory receptors which are sensitive to taste olfactory receptors which are sensitive to smell thermoreceptors which are sensitive to temperature and tango receptors which are sensitive to touch now let us start with the nervous system in vertebrates see the nervous system in the vertebrates is composed of nerves which will connect their central nervous system now what is the central nervous system it comprises of the controlling panels which are brain and spinal cord two different parts of the body now we will study about these nerves first the nerves are composed of nerve fibers the nerve cells called the neurons now the neurons form the basic unit of the nervous system the messages that are conducted by nerves are in the form of electrical impulses now these nerves are of the following types sensory nerves which are also known as afferent nerves these nerves will carry the impulses from the receptors towards the central nervous system mainly towards the brain another type of nerve is the motor nerve which is also known as efferent nerve now these nerve carry electrical impulses away from the brain or the central nervous system towards the effector organ now what is the effector organ it is the organ where the effect is to be produced or the organ where the main task is to be performed
there are one more type of nerves now these nerves are mixed nerves which consist of both sensory and motor nerve fibers these nerves are mainly associated with the spinal cord and these mainly carry the impulses which are responsible for reflex actions children we will study about the structure of these nerve fibers which are known as neurons in the next video lesson hello